Displaying an alert, asking a user to make a choice, or displaying a prompt is a common UI task. Xamarin Forms has three methods on the page class for interacting with the user via a pop-up. And these are Display Alert, Display Action Sheet, and Display Prompt Async. Good day everyone. I'm Michael, and I'm using a text-to-speech program to have a more clear speech and audio. In this video lesson, we will be displaying different Xamarin Forms pop-ups. Now let's open the Visual Studio and do some coding. Here I added a label and two buttons and a click event for each button. Let's go to our code behind and implement the event. In our code behind, I simply call the display alert method for each event. But the method in my second event has four arguments. The display alert method can also be used to capture a user's response by presenting two buttons and returning a Boolean. To get a response from an alert, supply text for both buttons and await the method. After the user selects one of the options the answer will be returned to our code. Then assign the result to the text property of the button just to display the result of our actions. Let's run the app. So here is the typical alert method with only one button and does not return any value. And this one has two buttons, a yes and no. And assign the result to the text property of this button. The next pop-up is display action sheet method which will return the string label of the button that was clicked by the user. Here, I added another button, which display an action sheet. If you hover the mouse to the method. This method has four arguments. The title, cancel, destruction, which is commonly used if you want to delete or remove data, then the last argument is a params of string. This means that it can take the variable number of arguments and can have zero or more parameters. For this demo, I just added four value for params arguments. And these are copy link, email, Twitter, and Facebook. This method will return the string label of the selected button. And again, I assign the result to the text property of the button. But I a real world application, this could be calling a new page or saving or deleting data. Let's run the app again. Last is to display a prompt.
Let's run the app first. So here we have a title, a message, and an entry element, where we can input data. If the OK button is tapped, the entered response is returned as string. If the cancel button is tapped, null is returned. I also set the maximum character the user can input. Then set the keyboard to numeric since the prompt is asking for the age of the user. There are other arguments you can add to the method. Like placeholder and initial value. But I leave it for you to experiment. That's all for this video lesson. If you have questions, suggestions, something to add, or you think something is missing or incorrect to the lesson, please let me know. Again, this is Michael, thank you and see you at my next video lesson. Keep safe everyone.